These car criminals were caught on CCTV camera. But there are many who are never caught, and they leave a lot of angry people behind. Police could do nothing because uh, there was no witnesses, so it was just it was just a waste of time. And it, yeah, it did make me very cross. <laughs> well, I do what they do in India and other countries, chop their hands off. I think, you know, sort of. Um, I think putting them in jail doesn't, um, you know, give them any deterrent to do it again. I think they just come out with knowing different things to do. Obviously, do it quicker. I think. I suppose the word scum comes immediately to mind. Um, I don't think they fully appreciate for the excitement that they get out of it, the amount of distress it causes the people who lose the car. These things happen all over the world. It's happened here, it's happened in London, and it's happened everywhere in the world. So, so take it with a pinch of salt sometime. No matter how safe you secure your car, crooks will always find a way of getting in. But some companies are now fighting back. One of the latest inventions to stop car criminals is super glass. It's a thin layer of specially developed laminate bonded to the inside of the car windows. British company Pentagon gave us a demonstration at their Birmingham premises. The glass is strong enough to stop most car criminals. Even when smashed, it still holds the window in place. Like new methods of protecting cars, the police are finding new methods to catch crooks. These criminals have spotted the decoy car with its goodies on display. Little do they know, their every move is caught on camera. As the thieves casually walk away, the police pounce. We don't need... Any more yes, Calm down, calm down. Stop yes, struggling. Yes. Put your arms yes. out. Put your arms out. Yeah. Put your arms out. Yeah. 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 Next to the treatment we'd have to these uh, for some time. We're plaguing this area for vehicle crime, so we're well pleased. We had two in for drugs earlier tonight and these three now, so it's a good result for the night. In their haste to escape, the thieves left the CD player and the police caught them red-handed with the mobile phone. None of us choose to become a victim of car crime, but if you want to avoid coming back to something like this, then there are a few precautions to take. Mark Leo took me on a quick tour of cars and gave me an insight into the mind of a car criminal. OK, Mark, so you've brought me to this street. Why? Because this used to be one of my most favourite streets because it's so appealing. All the factories boarded up, so it's a, it's a blind spot. Uh, no one can see from the roadside because there's bushes all down there. So I find this street really appealing. And look at the amount of cars that's down there as well. I'd probably hit about 10 cars down here. So what's appealing about this car? I mean, it's not a very new car. Face is on. Sony um, face off. Um, the alarm sensors are high up. I'd just smash the window, dive straight through, rip it straight out, rip the wires out and I'm gone, 30 seconds. Now this one would probably get me nosy because there's a box in the back and I'd be curious to what's in it. So I'd probably go for that one, but only if the box was proper closed up. But I'd have a nose anyway and see what was there. So there's a broken window there at least? Yeah. The thieves who were caught breaking into the police decoy car are now behind bars. With the mobile phone recovered, police can close the door on a good day's work. <laughs>